Oh, hey there. Moose on the Loose Mel here. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of a product from Soul of Siberia, and it's a kooksa. I placed my order on the Soul of Siberia website, and I'll provide a link down below for the website, but this is the box that I received in the mail. I did block out my personal information, and yes, we got excited and the box has already been opened, but this is the box and I have no idea what it says on the stickers here. If you know what these words say, maybe comment down below and just let me know what they say. But let's open it up and take a look. So we've ordered two identical kooksas and here they are. So these particular kooksas are handmade by this gentleman who operates his own website and each one of them he does by hand. So this is the first one. Now I'm just gonna show you the second one. And like I said, we ordered two identical, but as you can see, they're not completely identical because they are handmade. And that makes each cup an individual design all on its own, even though it is like another. I think it's just so special. So this particular design has this hole right here. You can stick your thumb through it and actually cup the bottom of the cup in your palm or you could stick your finger through it, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Because it is supposed to feel natural in your hand. There is some history behind these mugs. They're a traditional Scandinavian type cup and they are made of birch wood. And this particular design, he has um, burnt the inside with fire to seal it. Now that little tree symbol on the side, well, that's actually the branding from the designer and maker of these these mugs uh, he puts that brand on all of his products and he has knives as well and different designs of these kooksas i just i love the, the the detailing it's so cool oh look at the backdrop that just looks so cool anyway uh yeah these mugs are good for hot or cold liquids and I think it's said online that it holds approximately 200 milliliters. I mean, it's not a lot of liquid, but it's a, it's a cup of coffee. It's a cup of tea. Isn't it cool looking though? I can't wait to actually try it out. As for the cost, it was 50 US dollars. So it did cost me a little bit more because I had to do the Canadian conversion, but I think it's totally worth it because you know he put a lot of work into these mugs. So if you think I got a pretty cool mug, go ahead and give me a, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Maybe you're going to pick one of these mugs up yourself. I'm not affiliated, but uh, the mug is pretty cool. And feel free to subscribe. I mean, the topics vary at this point. Sometimes it's gardening. Sometimes it's stuff like this. Sometimes it's hiking, but whatever. I have fun making these videos. So for now, I'm just going to say thank you. And I'm going to go make a drink. See you later.